call how do i moderate a speech so my speech or my moderation will be evaluated by none other than dtm gayatri ravindra with this note i would love to give the podium to the captain of affirmative team dtm nasim khan thank you moderator and a warm good evening to all of you nasim khan over to you thank you moderator and a lovely good evening to all of you today the topic for our debate is online learning can replace classroom learning and the terms that we both team agreed on are online connected to a computer and internet learning the acquisition of knowledge or skills uh, uh, skills through study experience or being taught replace take the place of classroom a classroom is a physical learning space in which both children and adults learn my team will cover the points how online help the education demand for online learning bullying and abuses that take place in the physical classroom flexibility retention rate time investment and greener option will be covered by me ladies and gentlemen isn't it ironical that we are debating online and still we have to prove that online learning is better can replace classroom learning anyway business insider published in 2017 while educational models of the past focuses on providing students with required skills the educators of today are concerned with teaching students how to learn on their own by themselves affirmative team outrightly believe that online learning can replace classroom learning because student learns more online than do in traditional classroom ivm have found that in their sales study that student learn five times more in online than in classroom because online courses give student full control on their own learning students are able to work at their own speed different students have different capacity time frame to comprehend the teaching with online student can learn on their own space ibm also says that online start a student work faster than the classroom student and take in more information retention rate are higher for online learning student many offline courses struggle to retain students throughout the length of the courses the research institute of america for worldwide online survey have found that this is not the case in online learning rather online learning courses have increased student retention rate from 25% to 60% online learning require less investment of time many students are enrolling in classroom uh, are stopping themselves due to the time investment required for the uh, future time required this is generally involves the time that they uh, spend on going back and forth to the classes waiting for teachers and students and as per melbourne school report on online learning that says online learning typically requires 40 to 60% less student time than learning in traditional class kya ho gaya hai pata nahi kya ho gaya isko kya ho gaya bachcha bhook lag gayi hai ja papa ja papa the greener option online learning is certainly the more of effective option for students but it is also for the environment united nation uh, environment program found that online courses equate to an average of 90% less energy and 85% fewer emission of carbon dioxide per student than traditional classroom learning this certainly makes online learning not only effective method but a tool to reduce the worldwide uh, problem of global warming at the beginning of lockdown we were little skeptical about online learning but eventually now we all are comfortable learning online and therefore affirmative team believes that uh, online learning can replace classroom learning over to you moderator great uh, this is a beautiful challenge uh, being thrown to none other than our negative team captain our negative team captain you have 3 to 4 minutes but before i leave it to her please i request all the um, participants i mean all the viewers 
please switch off your mic, put it on the mute it so that we can have a clarity, clear speech from our speakers. DTM, Alka Kumra, the captain of the negative team. Over to you. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and my dear worthy opponent, Naseema. Good evening. A great speech from you, but doesn't have much matter in it. Let me ask you one thing. You said students learn five times more online. How? How can you say five times more? What is the five times quantity? How can you quantify that? That's not my study. I have not calculated. It is a study done by professionals who are experts in getting figures analysis. And that was done by IBM. It's a hardware company that does such surveys, such calculations, such analysis on timely basis. So they are saying hardware companies will be uh, are the most uh, reliable sources for this. Anyway, going to the next question. You also mentioned that the retention rates are higher. And we are debating online today about this. Do you know the membership retention in our district or all over the world in the Toastmasters? Coming to the Toastmasters online learning, do you know the membership has gone down drastically and all Toastmasters are asking for uh, various things, uh, reduction in uh, fees and uh, reduction in targets and all that to overcome this challenge? Do you see, do you know that so many of the members are saying we don't want to become members because we are online, we don't want online meetings? I happily disagree with your question. The, reader, uh, the reason of deduction in membership is not because of learning medium, it's because people are losing their job. Uh, their salary is deducted. This no, is my personal up. example. Is this up. is the... Uh, okay. The, their reduction up. in the membership. Thank you. Uh, we will now give it to our uh, negative captain to give our constructive speech. The time is three to four minutes now. Touch is the first language we speak, says Stephen Gaskin. And also Margaret Atwood says, touch comes before sight, even before speech. It is the first language and the last, and it always tells the truth. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and my worthy opponents. <clears throat> in her class six, my daughter was taught in class the principle of refraction, but she could not understand. When I spoke to the teacher, she told me, unfortunately, the school labs are not functional at that point of time. I suggested to her to bring a prism to the class to explain. Two days later, my daughter came back home happily, saying she understood the principle of refraction as she had actually seen and handled the prism in class and calculated the angle of refraction. This is the power of touch and feel that is available in classroom side learning. Diane Ackerman says, nothing is more memorable than a smell. I still remember the smells in my school chemistry lab where I learned to distinguish the smell of ester that of hydrochloric acid and many other things. Haven't you been through all that? Now, these are only two of the various reasons that our team believes online learning cannot replace classroom learning. As we all know, humans have five basic senses, touch, sight, hearing, smell, and taste. While we use all these five senses in classroom learning, we use only two of them, sight and hearing in online learning. During the next couple of minutes, I'll be talking about various other reasons as to why classroom is the preferred choice of a majority of learners. My first teammate, Suhan, will speak about what makes online learning less attractive for learners. And my second teammate, Binoy, will back up all our reasons with facts and statistics. Now coming to my third reason why classroom is the preferred choice of learning, is it's more organized. You do not have to worry about set, setting up your own schedule of learning. The institute, the school, the class, uh, the school or the college will give you a timetable with your class dates and times. Also, you can get your questions answered and feedback on your assignments and exams in real time. There is no long wait, waiting period. Which brings us to my next reason why classroom learning is preferred. Classroom learning is 
interactive. It has been in existence from ancient times and has survived eras of time. According to Ray Williams, who writes in Psychology Today, he says human interaction is very important to one's life and this is one of the human inter uh, characteristics that distinguishes us from the rest of the living beings because man is a social animal. And that brings me to our, my next argument for classroom learning, which is motivation. Motivation can come only through dynamic relationship that is shared between a student and a teacher. The rapport that is built between a student and a fellow student. And this leads to the richness of learning experience that may be lost completely or may be minimized when learning is undertaken or from a distance or virtual format. And that brings me to the last reason that I feel, which is not less than any other reason, reasons, interpersonal social skills. Face-to-face -face communication allows the entire experience to not only be heard, but also felt. And also the importance of a response cannot be denied, which is very important for, for us. To conclude, there is no doubt that digital education is valuable, but only as an enhancement to regular learning or for those who cannot be in classrooms due to lack of time or any other valid reason. By actively seeing a trainer or a teacher convey a passion about a topic, it ignites the same passion in a student. And Thank you very much, um, Captain of the Negative Team, DTM Alka Komra. We thank have, you. thank you. We have a Toastmaster Riza Muhammad who has just been inducted into the LA Debater Club as a member. Now, you have two minutes to contract with our negative team captain. Over to Toastmaster Riza Muhammad. Fellow Toastmasters and my worthy opponent, DTM Alka Kumra, you have wonderfully crafted your speech, but that's the end of it. The speech was uh, excellent, but the points were totally hollow. The first point that you made was, can't touch be at home. <laughs> you gave a phrase that the touch is really important. Uh, can't touch be at home. From, from a teacher, how can uh, the touch be at home from a teacher? Will, will you buy all the uh, There is lab? no need. You cannot buy all the lab equipment at home. You need to be in a chemistry lab, school lab, biology lab to experience all that. You cannot do it at there home. There are several ways that things can be simulated and that is the future. Just like how fearful were you uh, 15 years back uh, when cell phones were introduced. You said, uh, most of the world said it's not possible. Is that a we question? are moving. Is that no. a I'm waiting it for It is an question. answer. Okay, let me go ahead. Uh, uh, the third point that you mentioned that classroom uh, is organized up, uh, and uh, green students don't come have come. to... Uh, this, uh, students don't have to uh, do anything. The same thing can be emulated in online as well. Just like how we are conducting a Toastmasters meeting. I'm waiting for a question. I don't want to yeah. speak from you. Thank you. Can't... Thank you, Toastmaster Riza. Your time for cross-examination is up. Now you can give your uh, constructive speech. Your yeah. time, two to three minutes. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Tom, start the timing again. Yeah. Are we ready now? Yeah, you can go ahead. Okay. Um, classroom, there are huge benefits of online schooling. One of the biggest benefits of online schooling or learning is near isolation from um, a phenomenon called bullying. Bullying is strong preying upon the weak. It can be a physical advantage or a social advantage. It can be one student or many. It often takes the form of threats, intimidation and cruelty or forcing against his or her will to do what the uh, strong one wants. And this is commonly 
seen in classrooms. A student is first introduced to uh, a bullying in school. In a study conducted by the US Department of Education in 2015, 28% of all students experienced bullying. This is a pandemic which has been ignored and a lot of adults who become the victims go on suffering throughout their entire life. Uh, children who are bullied can experience negative physical and mental health issues, anxiety, depression, increased feeling of sadness and loneliness as well. Uh, the speech of Darren Tays, who, who was the 2016 world champion, was about how he overcame the effects of bullying. Darren was strong, he fought back and succeeded. But the majority of the victims are unsuccessful and go through several of uh, major issues. And some even turn out to be criminals. Now, in America, there have been a large amounts of um, uh, school shootings. 75% of the people who kill school children had been bullied or uh, have left behind some kind of evidence of having been victims of being uh, bullied. The second major problem of uh, traditional schooling is drug and alcohol abuse. These are important problems that affect the school age at uh, school youth at earlier ages. Young people frequently begin to experiment with alcohol, tobacco, and other drugs, especially in high school and a small number of them even in elementary school. By the time students are in high school, rates of substance use are remarkably high. According to a national survey data, about one in three 12 standard students have reportedly been drinking or having marijuana. And marijuana is the most commonly used drug in high school students. Thank you very open much, Mr. Mohammad Riza. Now all of these are I directly related to Please. conventional schooling. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. We have Toastmaster Suhan who is eagerly waiting to cross examining you. Over to Toastmaster Suhan. You have two minutes totally to cross examine Toastmaster Mohammad Riza. Over to Suhan Munaf. Yeah. Thank you, moderator. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters, and, and good evening to my worthy opponent, Reza. You just mentioned about bullying, right? You think that I'm not bullied? Even I was bullied when I was in my school. But even though I, I still, you, you know, just answered your own in a question. That, uh, you know, I'm supposed to be rough and tough during this real time world. You think in the online people will. Uh, not get, uh, uh, they'll not get bullied. They will get bullied there also. You There's just answered your same. Bullying. Have you heard you of that? You just answered uh, your uh, question there yeah. by admitting that you were yourself a victim of and also, bullying, highlighting is, uh, the problem that and also this you is have a talked about, very common uh, problem. You know, people are uh, doing mass shootings. Even online, people are doing mass, uh, you know, some murders that through a game called Blue Whale. There's I have not heard about online that, mass. You know, People have committed suicide over oh. there. And as oh. if you're talking about uh, this thing is a uh, oh, Can I work. And answer then, your points, please? Uh, and also, the time, is law, up. The time is up. Uh, please, school, cooperate. please cooperate. Toastmaster Suhan Abdul Munaf, you have two to three minutes to give your constructive speech. Sham, time to start again. Restart. Reset. Okay. Okay. Benjamin Franklin once quoted, learning is an investment in knowledge that pays best interest. Moderator, fellow Toastmasters and my dear friends, my resolution is online learning cannot replace classroom learning. Let me quote our Ralph Medley. He said, we learn at moment of fun. Fun happens when we meet people 
and we interact with them. Most importantly, we learn and enhance our knowledge. Do this online? No. I don't like online learning. The reason as follows. Mostly we face technical failures most of the time. In these instances, we get miscommunication or misinter misinterpretation. And as compared to traditional learning, we get to uh, see face to face. In online learning, the interaction is very limited, but in classroom, it is abundant. There are health issues in regards to online learning. You know what it is? The more we look at our screen time, we, our uh, eyes blind, eye blindness will increase. And the online course that is only reduced to only learning. It's like reading a book on the computer and there's no value add service you'll get over there too. And uh, most importantly, there is no transparency at all. What if you are dealing with a lecture online and what is, uh, what is that uh, guarantee or uh, genuity that you have that that student is following you? What if he's playing video games online and he is uh, or he or she is watching Netflix that time? And the people, they, they were over and made the cost of fewness on virtual learning because this, the answer is too cheap. But will you really get that value of learning? There's the fear by the attendance speech process. Moreover, when we have more interaction, more we learn. So that's why I support that online learning cannot replace traditional classroom learning. Over to you. Thank you very I'm much, Professor uh, Abdul Min um, Sohan Abdul Muhab. We have a junior Colonel Sanders, <laughs> Toastmaster Alan Paul. You have two minutes to cross-examine Toastmaster Sohan. Over to you. Thank you. Good evening, uh, guests and my worthy Good opponent. Evening. I like the quotes you mentioned by Benjamin Franklin and uh, Ralph Smedley, by the way. Beautiful quotes. And uh, by the way, do you think they were present when online learning was there? No. No, they were not present. And if Ralph Smedley was present today, don't you, do you think that he will not allow pathways? Well, he wouldn't allow pathways, but, he, uh, but what I'm saying is allow pathways. learn Really? Not Come on, Pathways online. belong to the organization that he founded, and we are all using it to this day. So what makes well, you think he This is the pathways? platform we are using. We are not using the learning aspect of it. Well, it's we are online now, aren't we? We don't need we to still, have we are still have there. So I now. hope I answered your question there. No, you didn't. You didn't answer the question. We are having an online meeting right now. Through the materials. Yeah. Don't we are using we are the not, platform, not the interaction. Anyways, I, <laughs> and uh, you also mentioned about video games. Don't you think parents are responsible for what Your video games is are providing? Alan, thank you. Your I, time I, is up. Green signal, I still I have fun. No, 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 no. Green that. signal means over. Okay. Uh, you have to now start your constructive speech now. Two to three minutes. That was a cross-examination. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. In today, Over to Toastmaster Alan to give you a constructive speech on your topic. Thank you, DTM Murali. See, in today's age and time, we see an increasing number of applicants to educational institutions. And the problem is that these institutions can't increase the admission at the rate to meet the demands. So they resort to massive classes. One classroom can have up to 700 different students with, back, with different backgrounds. Please go ahead to Smash. Expect them to study the same exact materials at the same time. And there comes a point where the students have a learning breakdown and the student doesn't understand what's going on after that. And they carry this misunderstanding for the rest of the class. See, education is like an iceberg with physical classroom lectures as a visible part of the iceberg where students are exposed to a wide variety of information, but not exactly deep diving into anything. And the core pieces of learning go behind the scenes where the student tries to understand the materials, 
do problems and there'll always be breakdowns where they cannot go past certain questions and only if they address those questions they can proceed with the rest of the learning so the physical classrooms can only address the tip of the iceberg but the place where the teacher would be most needed is behind the scenes when the students are having these breakdowns now technology can help remedy this situation throughout history we had a good number of technological replacements some app or tool to enhance your life and this is where online learning comes into the picture with online learning we have pre-recorded videos by the teachers and when there comes a breakdown the students can ask the teacher about this breakdown and learn about it at their own pace by pausing rewinding and seeing it again instead of disturbing the teacher to pause or to repeat this has triggered an online learning revolution over the past few years we had an outsurge of different platforms like udemy coursera khan academy edx where people can create and learn courses on some of these pro uh, some of these um, platforms are non profit organizations that make education free around the world universities like harvard and mit have actually started online courses online learning is the future unlike what my worthy opponent mentioned you can still motivate your students you can have a rapport with the students you don't need to touch the students for them to learn my opponent also mentioned about the assignments being done fast now we all know that this is not true it takes ages for assignments to be done whereas in online it is instant and this also gives teachers insights and save them time in order for them to excel and be the true professionals that they are red card graduation thank you toastmaster alan i think uh, dtm morley is facing some uh, technical issues can i still we will on? move on for your cross examination I would like to invite Toastmaster Binoy. I am here, uh, my friend. I am here. Okay. Okay. So, Toastmaster Binoy, Sebastian, you have two minutes to cross-examine Toastmaster Alan Paul. Over to you. Thank you, moderator, and my teammates and fellow Toastmasters, and especially a special good evening to my worthy opponent. Good evening. Toastmaster Allen, your speech was excellent, flawless, but mm. it is not striking with contents. With contents, like example? Example, you said physical learning is only a tip of the iceberg. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, let me ask you mm. some of the professions, key professions in the world, like, mm. for example, a doctor or engineer. Okay. Would you would you be confident enough to go and lie in front of a surgeon who's on learn things online? Uh, 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 Toastmaster Binoy, have you heard of artificial intelligence? Definitely. I'm just answer to my question. Don't ask me a question. No, this is artificial intelligence. So I'm saying yes. In so the future, my, the doctors so can what, really do this instead of performing on live people and making mistakes. Alan, Alan, my question, sorry, sorry, situation. sorry to interrupt. My question, my question was, would you be confident enough to go as a patient? Exactly, and yes. Of a, I already mentioned be. this. Yes. Thank, Thank, you. You Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I leave it to, I leave <laughs> it to the audience. Artificial intelligence is all about. Thank you. I leave it to the audience. Okay. Thank you, Alan. <laughs> you are Binoy. talking about online swimming. Very good, very good, very good. Talking Binoy. about learning swimming online. Okay, Thank bye. you, Binoy. Binoy, you have now two to three minutes to give your constructive speech. Timer restart. Yes. Thank you. Thank Over you to you. Much, Thank you very much, sir. Very good evening once again to everyone. If we were in a real place, not online, I would have asked this question. How many of you are teachers here? And I could have seen so many hands raising up. But right now I can only see the moderator's hand up. I am not visible to the rest. I don't know. I have no clue how many more of you are teachers. 
So you are only seeing a tip of the iceberg. Let me say it that way. Well, if you're a teacher, you can be happy enough. Why I'm saying this? See, anxiety about losing your job to technology is a real factor. It's a growing fear all over the world. But if you're a teacher, you need not worry. A famous study conducted by the most famous University of Oxford that looked at over 700 different areas of work states that of all the jobs, a teacher's job is the most safest. Why is it so? Because online learning has its limitations. A study conducted at Seattle University states when online, online learning started, basically in the year 2000, it was existing before also. At 2000, there were 7% of people who opted for learning online. Over the years, it shot up drastically. But from 2000 to 2015, it's reached from 7 to 25%. From 2015 to 2020, it has reached from 25 to 30%, which means it is coming to a stagnation. It has reached a saturation point. It can only be, it can only enhance and be a subsidiary to a classroom learning. With all my respect to the teachers, especially here. And the students, every teacher was once a student. Have you not scored better marks for the same subject with better teachers where the contents were all the same? What was the difference? Because the teacher was there to mold you, to shape you, to guide you, to facilitate you. Every, every person, there's a saying, is part the DNA, part we learn as a child, and part the unknown. And part you, the main part of a person in character building, behavior building, and end of it, making him a human, is what he learns as a child. And who is the key person who shapes you? It's the age from five to 15. Teachers are your gods. Thank you very much, uh, Toastmaster Pinoy Sebastian. Thank you. Is it my time is up? Yes, your time is up. I okay. don't have any seconds more. <laughs> no, no, thank you. And we appreciate you. your uh, points. I am going to give this floor to DTM Nasima Khan, who is the captain of the affirmative team to cross examine you for two minutes. All right. DTM Nasima, over to you. Thank you, moderator. And good evening, Toastmaster Vinoy. Thank you for Hi, that Nasima. speech. How are you? I'm good. Alhamdulillah. So I have a couple of questions for you on your speech. Sure. You, sure. Said, you said your teachers were motivating you, guiding you, right? Perfect. And how many students approx you must be having in one class? Approx, if you remember. Uh, say around 30, 30 students. 30 students. I, as long as I remember, uh, my class had a 50-52. But anyway, did your teacher came to your house to motivate? Because in that four to five hours, I have never seen teacher going to the student to motivate each and every student to motivate them. It could be only possible if teachers are going every day to each student's home. Because as per the studies, parents are the key motivator of a student not the teachers. In spite I'm, I'm, of... sorry. I'm sorry to disagree with you, ma'am. Because it's not necessarily a teacher has to come to home to motivate a student. A teacher is... Okay, having okay. you answered my question. Uh, it's my time it to is, ask a question, please. Yeah, I, I don't know. I can answer also, right? Yeah, you answered, but I, uh, it's my time yeah. to ask a question. I mean, it's not From necessarily... Which reference a teacher has to come you to... have said that what was the reference you gave that internet started from so and so year? What's your reference? Uh, it's www.bestcolleges.com. You can no... search. You, you can search online. There's a study by Oxford University and Illinois University. 
Okay. 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 And Seattle, Seattle, and and there's one more Seattle University which says. Thirty-fourth percent of dropouts okay, online okay. against I against twenty-six percent. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. It's my time to ask you another question. But as per yeah. the studies of United yeah. Nation of Internet Association, the internet began in nineteen ninety-one, and it was. Uh, you can also go and uh, state that. Here I can say that. Um, Please moderator, listen. The stats it's incorrect. Internet started in nineteen ninety one. Thank you. 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 affirmative speech thank you moderator and once again good evening to my worthy opponent i feel little sad that very basic thing my opponent cannot understand that to understand uh, to learn to in our definition we mention that learning is about acquiring the knowledge skills it doesn't matter where you are whether it's a classroom four wall one room it doesn't matter you need to learn you need to make yourself knowledgeable through a tool and the most convenient effective tool is right now online and that i have and my team already accepted by giving stats references not like talking in the air none of the team my opponent team members gave stats any studies to uh, uh, validate their points you and i can talk in the air we have so many story how we can prove that they are right they had seven points none of the points were valid by their studies research and we spoke on nine points none of the team members rebuttal on that in fact one did and accepted that bully is possible even he was the victim of bully which is happen right now it's happening in classrooms learning abuses was uh, spoken about my team member no one rebuttal that learn more in online learning we had a retention rates more on a time investment we can save lots of time no one can rebuttal that rebuttal doesn't mean talking in the air giving quotes who died 50 years ago when the on, uh, uh, internet was not even there give us the study which was recent after the online study came in uh, in working so i i thoroughly strongly outrightly believe that online learning can replace classroom learning no way <laughs> thank you um let me welcome our negative team captain dtm alka komara to summarize the speech of the negative team over to you dtm alka komara ladies and gentlemen <clears throat> can you imagine learning the nuances of athletics online Do you think a five five star hotel will employ a chef who has learned cooking only online? Can you trust your life with a surgeon who has learned surgery online? Maybe you trust a robot or a driverless car, but not a human who has learned his skill online. I believe the advantages of classroom learning and that out far outweigh those of online learning, and that is reason enough to say that classroom room learning can never be replaced by online learning. while classroom learning lets us make use of all our five senses given to us by god and helps us build a rapport and dynamic relationships with other learners and with our teachers and trainers online learning makes many of the learners become loners that leads to depression and many other health issues too due to looking at the screen for a long long time and there are statistics to prove that we don't speak in air sitting all day long in front of a screen will make a person not only physically lethargic but also lead to weight gain do you need any statistics for that there is strain on the eyes and it has been proved that children lose focus and concentration when they have too much screen time the classroom tuition fees are less if you see the overall advantage of uh, uh, the classroom learning that you get from in compared to the online learning uh what you get interaction is what leads to motivation and motivation is what leads to achievement and success in life virtual education does provide flexibility and convenience 
as you said, but it may be best only for individuals with demanding schedules and responsibilities and only for students who require alternatives to formal educational arrangements, but it can never replace classroom learning. To conclude, there are some things that need to remain the same, even if it is ages and ages and eras and eras. As time goes on and societies evolve, education is one of them. While there is an argument that online learning allows people to learn at their own pace and time, it is not as valuable as the education obtained from a traditional style classroom. It just does not make sense to pay for online education when you gain much more skill sets and knowledge with traditional style learning. Many people may, may not be able to attend regular class meetings and may utilize online learning, but this is only as an enhancement and for a person who is able to choose online or traditional education courses, the decision should be clear. Do I want to develop life skills and learn or just get a diploma or a degree? Over to you, moderator. Very much. I hope uh, both the evaluators for affirmative and uh, negative have taken note of all the points given by both the teams. I thank each and every participant in this team Please give them a big applause. Before I hand over this uh, to the next session, let me confess to those people who don't know much about me. From 1995 to 2011, I have done 14 courses online from US on insurance. I'm a professionally qualified insurance. This could have not been happened if I had gone to US, which was, I mean, I think that's the, my dream, um, it would not have been possible. But online learning is something different. So please friends, don't think, I mean, this is my view. And also let me tell you, today I'm doing two online courses, one from the most famous universities in the world, the Institute in the world, Indian Institute of Management uh, uh, Indore, as well as from Howard, I'm doing my management course. So that is also one of the learning. I would not give any judgment on this, except that this, I wanted to tell you this is also one of the learning. As I told you, the evaluators have already taken the points. Now, with the session going, I will hand over this session to the Morley, are you next doing speech? person who is going to be taking charge. That is our district director, DTM of Salman, who will be doing the evaluation session. May I request DTM Bafa Salman to take over. Over to you, DTM, Number District two. Director. Can we please have the voting? We need to have the poll for the best uh, debater and the best debating team. Moderator, please carry through. Why can't I vote? You can't vote. <laughs> Why? You should. Why? The panelists Why? should vote because you're a part of the group. Because somebody, put the you as, somebody put you as a host. Oh. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> but for what you can do is you can actually uh, withdraw the co-host permissions from those who are co-hosts and then uh, give them back the permissions once they have voted. Okay. No worries. We'll do that. I did. <laughs> Thank you, Kofa. It was unintentional. Wants to. <laughs> no, no, you tried to take away my one vote. <laughs> Nikaji, do you want me to get my children to vote for you? <laughs> I'll be ending the poll in the next five seconds. Thank you. Excellent. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Good evening, dear parents, dear teachers. If you are done with the polling, can we move on to our next segment?
We are actually yeah. voting for the best debater now. We are voting for the best debaters now. Right. Closing the poll in the next five seconds. Uh, I didn't get it. <laughs> You're not a host. Yeah, I didn't get it. I don't know. You should have. Oh, wait. Oh, if you are a host, you cannot. Yeah, yeah, he's not a host. What term was that, Osmaster Kuresh, that you learned from DTM Naseema? We can move on. We are done with the voting. Super. Over to DTM Wafa. Okay. Good evening, fellow debaters. I really enjoyed. It was on fire. Let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> I love the way that each team tackle it. We need to learn a little bit about uh, the cross-examination and that we can make some learning workshop later on about how to cross-examine uh, in, in a way that makes the other person in the corner by answering yes or no. The evaluation session is very important and it, from this session we will learn what are the things we did good and how, are, how we can improve, what are the areas of our improvement. And to do that, we have two evaluators. But before the two evaluator, let me ask the timer, our new member, Sham, can you tell me the timing rules for an evaluation? Oh, yes, please. Uh, the, the time that is allotted to, uh, for the evaluators is uh, two to three minutes. At two minutes, I will show you the green card. At two and a half minutes, I will show the yellow card. And at three minutes, I will show you the red card. Thank you, Sham. And uh, the speaker, please pin the, pin the timer, pin video the timer so you can see them in front of you. Now, our first evaluator is a good friend of mine. He started this club when this club was different name for different reasons. And he's back to us. I'm so proud that he's back. He's going to evaluate the affirmative team. DTM Noor Muhammad, the floor is yours. He will not have video audio only, but it's okay. The floor is yours, Noor Muhammad. Thank you, Superwoman, uh, General Evaluator, Wafa Salman. May I, before I start, may I request all to mute their microphones? <laughs> 